narcissist thinks you still want them. They think you still have an interest in them. They think you still desire them. They think you still want them in your life. This is just part of the arrogance of the narcissist. They have an exaggerated sense of their own importance and abilities. They think they're so much greater than what they actually are. They think they're special or important. They think they're more desirable or attractive, more capable or useful. When the reality is, there's a million of them who look just as great, if not far greater than they do. And the truth is, they are fully aware of this. They know that they're not special. They know that in the grand scheme of things, they just don't measure up. And that is what makes them so narcissistic. That is what makes them so arrogant and audacious. They have to exaggerate their importance and abilities. They have to pursue you and take risks without any respect for you. Because remember, everything they do is all about them. They are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. It's all about getting their needs met. They're in survival mode, using people to continue their survival, despite whatever difficult circumstances they may be in. So they have to believe that you still want them. They have to believe that you still have an interest in them. Even though that may not be the case. Because the truth is just too difficult for them to deal with. Most of them have inflated egos. They have an exaggerated sense of self-esteem or self-importance. They don't acknowledge that they're just another one of eight billion people on this rock that we call Earth, as it spins in an endless space of nothingness. They have to live in this delusional reality where they are something special, something that you might want. Because deep down they believe that the opposite is true. They believe that they are worthless and insignificant. It creates this internal battle where they are constantly trying to convince themselves that they are worth something. They are something great. And that's why they have to hold on to this delusional belief that you still want them. How could you ever want them after how they have treated you, after everything they did to you? No one who really values and respects themselves would ever decide to be around these people. Like attracts like. So you will only be drawn to these types of people if you do not love yourself. If you do not respect yourself and that is why they will constantly put you down they will constantly disrespect you so that you do stay around them because if you could really see your true worth you would never desire to be around them you would realize that you deserve so much more when you still desire to be around the narcissist, it's because you believe that there must be more to them than what they show to you. You believe that what they displayed to you in the beginning was real. When really, it was just false advertising. They were telling you whatever they thought you wanted to hear. 
showing you whatever they thought you wanted to see. But they weren't really about any of that. It was future faking. Just to get what they need from you in that moment. Your attention and admiration. Narcissistic supply. Which then fed their egos and made them feel special or important. It made them feel as though they were worth something. As though they were significant to someone. But they weren't really about anything for real. They had nothing to give to you. They had nothing to build with you. They're in survival mode. They use people to prop up their false self and that's it. That's all it was. If there was anything more to them, you would have seen it by now. They would have used that to lure you in even more. But they cannot give you something that they don't have. So that's all you get. You walk away with nothing, or the bare minimum if you're lucky. And that is why we have to look at ourselves. We have to manage our expectations. We have to stop expecting so much from them. While it may not seem like much to us, it is a lot for them. And it is not so easy for them to provide the same level of value to you. So there will never be an equal exchange. If you want to know how much value a person has, look at how they value you. Look at how they treat you. If a person really values and respects themselves, they will value and respect you. Because they have value and respect to give to you. But if a person lacks value and respect within themselves, they've got nothing. So you will leave with nothing. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to falsely advertise something just to lure you in, just to get your attention. Because remember, Everything they do is for their own self-interest or needs. They're not going to go out of their way to do something for you, unless there's something in it for them. And even then, it won't be the way you like. Because they're not as capable as they led you to believe. Which is why most of the time, they will just exploit you and give you nothing. Because if you were to see what they really had to offer you, it would be a joke. You'd be laughing at them. You'd be wondering, where's the rest of them? Where's this amazing personality and character that you were supposed to have? What's the fun and entertainment? That was all a lie. It was an illusion. Just to make you believe that you were missing out on something. But you weren't missing out on anything. Other than abuse 
and manipulation. Everything that attracted you to them was just a mirror of you. Everything that you were about. Everything that you were interested in. And it is something that they will take with them and use to attract their next source of supply. But it isn't them. It's just something they stole from you. Your character and personality. Your values and beliefs. Your interests and ideals. They take that with them. And that is why they think you still want them. Because now they've taken a part of you. And they think you want that part of you back. So that you can feel whole and complete again. But that part of you they took was never real. It was an imitation of what you're about. It was a simulation of value. It wasn't real. The narcissist thinks you still want them. Because they think that you are still susceptible to their manipulation. They think you're still under their spell. You're still falling for the illusion. They want you to think that they are the missing piece to your puzzle. When the truth is, every time they come back, or you go back to them, you're just trying to jam a puzzle piece into the wrong place. That piece doesn't even belong in that puzzle. And yet you keep trying to push it in, hoping that it will fit. When really, it's not meant to go there. It's not meant to fit because it doesn't belong there. The missing puzzle piece that you've been looking for has always been inside of you. It was never in another person or thing. And when you realize that, you will feel complete and you won't want to be around them anymore. The narcissist thinks you still want them because they are arrogant and audacious. They have an exaggerated sense of their own importance and abilities. They live in this delusional reality where despite everything they have done to you, they hold on to this distorted belief that they are still desirable or attractive, capable or useful. They may never accept the truth of what they really are. But as long as you know what's right, as long as you know what's true, that's all that really matters. And it will help you to stay grounded in reality and to protect yourself from these individuals.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video raised it with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at noxfathercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.